Hi, Miles Regis. And I am here interviewing you here at the LA Affordable Art Fair, first year, and I am fascinated by the sheer diversity of what you have. I noticed this wooden paint, and then I had listened briefly to your talk about your printing process, Thank you so much for being there. which was fabulous. So tell me about how you became an artist and your influences and what it's like to be a Trinidadian, Trinidadian here in Los Angeles. Yes. It's an amazing experience. It's, I'm truly blessed. Um, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for uh, interviewing me and supporting what I do. Um, I've been painting all my life. Um, as I was saying during the talk, I grew up uh, around a lot of artists. So it was an incredible education. Um, I've been painting as a full-time artist for the past four years. And I show um, almost monthly. Uh, I paint almost daily. And I'm just expressing what I'm experiencing as this Trinidadian living in Los Angeles. I am fascinated by this artwork that you have behind yourself. I have never seen anything exactly like this. Is this something common in Trinidad, or is this something you came up with yourself as a unique, fabulous artist? Oh, thank you. Um, you know what? I, as I was saying, you know, I'm the most honest artist ever. It's pure economics. Um, when I can't afford canvas, I paint on wood. All of the wood that I that you see here is uh, found wood. So um, as fast as I get whatever I get, I paint on it. It just so happens that for this showing, I'm showing a, you know, a collection of the wood assemblage pieces. I'm glad that you appreciate it. Thank you. So when you say you found them, exactly what do you mean you found them? Basically, I uh, go to the scrap, uh, scrap yards where they throw out uh, pieces of wood that can't be sold and I take them home with me and I paint on them. Oh my gosh, so you're recycling. So I am recycling. You're a natural artist. <laughs> yes, definitely. This is really neat. I had never really thought about that. So can you tell me a little bit about the pieces? Oh yeah, sure. Um, where should we start? Well, they're, they're all, you know, I've, I've done most of them over the past few months. Um, and I have several more. We have a couple here on hand and mm -hmm. several more back at my home studio. But basically, I uh, hammer away and, and, and saw away pieces that work and sort of assemble it in a way that makes sense for me to execute what I'm trying to say. And um, then I, I paint away and it could be any way, anywhere from a purely a varnished piece with uh, black and white paint on it to a more colorful one like this one where there's, you know, the blues and the magentas, the yellows, the oranges, the reds, um, the greens. And, you know, I try to tell a story that uh, we can all relate to and um, hopefully if I'm excited by it, then um, you are. I am excited. Thank I you. really like the one with the black woman um, looking and viewing and sort of taking everything on head first. Now, if someone's interested in purchasing any of these pieces, exactly how would they find them, Miles? My website, which is my name, milesregis.com. And, uh, you know, reach out and uh, be sure to make sure that you're happy with uh, finding the piece that works for you in your home. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Thank you so much.